welcome back guys and if it's the first time you're booking up the channel a big welcome to you big up on yourselves so today what i want to talk about is i want to talk about jamaican people and how they really stay right because jamaican people you know every country have them good and them have them bad right this is just the world we're living in now but when you say jamaican people for the most part you know they're warm and kind-hearted people and them just love joke love to laugh and you know, even them have a great sense of humor because even when a difficult situation, them can always find the humor in it. So I rate them for that. And to tell you the truth, you know what is a thing about Jamaican too? They're house proud. So even if like for them have a little shack and a, and a dirt yard, then to cut bush and make broom and sweep the dirt yard till it's nice and neat and pretty, not a single mess on it. Or if them have a floor, like it's a red tile floor, then polish it up till it shine, till you can see yourself in it, or wood floor, same way. Nice and shine and beautiful. And another thing again now with Jamaicans is they are a strong people, really determined people, and they rally through situations. Like I can remember, for example, um, Hurricane Gilbert in 1988. When Holy Pa Man and Woman House roof blow off and the place was a mess, like the hurricane gave Jamaica a hard time. So when you drive through the, the countryside now, you just see all kind of people just rallying together and helping one another put back the zinc on them roof, put the rock stone on top of the zinc because they not even have zinc nail at the time. And everybody just come together and rally around and rebuild. And there was no moping and, you know, wailing and all of that. Then just come together and pull together and make it through, you know? The next thing now is with Jamaican, when them keep a funeral, them call it dead yard or nine night, <coughs> excuse me. And when them get together, you know, them feed the whole community for the nine nights and them cook food and them drink and them eat and them tell stories about the people them, that, that them lost or whoever, you know, died. And it is a true celebration of the life of their loss of their lo loved one. It really is a, a special thing. I've been to a couple of them and it's a very enjoyable time, a very, you know, it's warm and it's, it's a great experience. And they're just remembering the person that they've lost, you know. And when I tell you, if, if a Jamaican look at you and tell you, say, them spirit take to you, man, you're nice. Because that means that them like you, them like your vibes, them, you know, them just take to you. And on the other hand, if them ever tell you, say, the spirit don't too take to you, you know, watch out. Because you know what? Jamaican people make the best friends, but them can make the worst enemy. So try not get on the bad side, all you do, right? <laughs> Believe you me. So, you know, the next thing about Jamaican people is that they are, for the most part, a very God-fearing people. You know that? I mean, I think Jamaica is one of the countries of the world where we have most churches per capita. And it's not a rare thing. When you're driving through the hills, like on a Saturday morning or a Sunday morning, you see families of people and them dressed to push back foot and the church them going. Them heading out to church and that's a regular thing, you know? And I've heard people say, like, you know, many a hurricane make them look away, like them trying to come to Jamaica. And at the last minute, you say, book them just turn and go somewhere else. And many people have said to me, boy, you know, is what happened? The whole heap of people, them and them near pray that the hurricane won't come to Jamaica. And, you know, I know that to be true. I've seen that for myself. I've, I've been raised in that situation and it's a fact. So, and, you know... I, another thing that Jamaicans like, this is just like a little touch here and a touch there because there's so many things, but dominoes, them love a game of dominoes, especially the men, but the women play too. And if you're driving through the hillside on a Saturday afternoon or Sunday too, but Saturday afternoon and you pass by like a local bar, you will see a table outside with four chairs, a domino is a game of partners, two on each team. And you, you see the four men sit down and them licking the domino on the table. And to me, that's the most fun of this thing is to lick the domino. And you lick it when 
you're playing a good strategic play or when you play that last winning card it'll slap it on the table and it's a great lead of fun and the whole goal is to drop a six love on your on the opposing partners right so it's great deals of fun so i want to know what you guys what your memories are if you're not still living in jamaica what are your memories of special things that you remember about jamaica and if you're living there now what are some of the fun things that you like to do because i really like to enjoy these comments and i think other people that are watching the videos also like them because we learn a lot from each other that way so i want to see your comments subscribe please to the channel share it with your friends comment like all those good things and see you on the next video one love